Daryl Strawberry's life has been a series of hardships, perseverance, and most significantly, redemption. He was the most highly regarded player in the country by his senior year of high school, and the New York Mets made him their first pick in the 1980 free agent draft. In 1981, Strawberry played Class A ball and was promoted to Double A in 1982. He led the Texas League with home runs and RBIs and was named Most Valuable Player. Strawberry displayed enormous potential and established it in 1983 by winning the National League Rookie of the Year Award. He followed up his rookie season by being named to the NL All-Star Team in 1984. Before the 1985 season, Strawberry signed a six-year, $7 million contract with the Mets. And in 1986, Strawberry and the Mets won the World Series. He made the Sporting News NL All-Star Team and the magazine's NL Silver Slugger Team in 1988. Before the 1991 season began, he signed a five-year deal with the LA Dodgers worth over $20 million. His back problems would limit him to 75 games in the 1992 and 1993 seasons, and at the end of the 1993 season, he signed with the San Francisco Giants. Strawberry made the most of his next chance at baseball by signing with the New York Yankees before the 1995 season. He joined the St. Paul Saints of the Independent Northern League on May 3, 1996, and in July, the Yankees asked Strawberry to sign a minor league contract for the rest of the season with an option for 1997. Strawberry holds the Mets records for most home runs and most RBIs. He was selected to the National League All-Star team from 1984 to 1991. Throughout his baseball career, Strawberry struggled with many adversities such as disruptive behavior, drug abuse, divorce, and several arrests. And in 1997, he was diagnosed with colon cancer. So where is he now? Today, Strawberry is living in Missouri with his wife, and the two have founded the Daryl Strawberry Foundation an organization dedicated to children with autism. He currently does occasional commentary for the Mets on Sportsnet New York.